Hey guys, welcome back to Drums with James. Today, we're going to be learning how to play EDM, electronic dance music on an acoustic drum kit. Although, if your drum kit's electric, that's fine too. This song is called Bright Lights. First, I'm going to play through the whole thing. Second, I'm going to play it again, but slower and without any music, just the drums. And after all that, I'm going to break down some of the tricky sections. Let's get into it. If you want to play EDM, the first thing you need to practice is four on the floor grooves. Meaning, no matter what you're playing with your hands, you're always playing four quarter notes with your bass drum. Now that's why I've included four four on the floor grooves in bright lights. The first one is a simple eighth note rock beat. Eight eighth notes with your hi-hat, two and four on the snare, and of course, four quarter notes with your bass drum. The second one is a little bit harder. You're still playing, of course, four quarter notes on the bass drum. You're still playing two and four on the snare, but now your hi-hats are playing upbeats only. One and two and three and four and. The third one has no cymbals at all. Simple, quarter notes on the bass drum, two and four on the snare. And the fourth one simply adds quarter notes on the ride cymbal as well. Now the hardest thing about playing these grooves in my opinion is getting that snare drum and bass drum to lock in at exactly the same time. Very easy to play one slightly before the other one and get this bass snare flam. You want to avoid that. Listen very carefully and practice nice and slowly get those bass and snares at exactly the same time. Next up we have the snare build. When you play a snare build or crescendo in this type of music, it's really important that you start playing as soft as possible. That way you actually have somewhere to build up to.
If you start too loudly, it's almost impossible to create the same tension and drama that makes the snare build so exciting in the first place. So, how do you play an exciting snare build? Well, I have two tips for you. Tip number one, start very close to the drum head. Make sure your sticks are as close to the drum head as you can get. It's much easier to play quiet when you're really close. Tip number two. Now, this will only really work on an acoustic snare drum. What you do is you get your drumsticks that are very close to the drum head, you lean forward and you play right near the rim of the snare drum. And as you're playing, you move closer and closer back to the middle and you'll get a natural crescendo effect just from doing that. If you watch me play the song, you'll notice I don't even actually lift my drumsticks up much at all until the very end when I'm trying to get very loud at the end of the build. Now, if you've never done this before, I would suggest trying it with one hand at a time. Take just your right hand or your left hand and put it right towards the edge of the snare and see what it sounds like and see how drastically it changes as you get closer to the middle. Now, I'm gonna go through the rest of the potentially tricky bars slash sections. Bar number 10 and 14. If you've just learnt to play the upbeat four on the floor groove, then adding a crash cymbal on beat one, a downbeat, can feel a little strange. If that's you, I want you to take extra time with this one. Bar 17, the fill at the end of the B section. Here we have the upbeat hi-hat groove, Ditch the snare on beat two, but then more than make up for it with a 16th note roll starting on beat three. Three e and a, four e and a. All the while keeping that four on the floor bass drum underneath. Bar 25, the fill at the end of the C section. Now, before attempting this fill, make sure you can count the rhythm. One e and a two and a three e and a four. One e and a two and a three e and a four. I know some of you guys don't like counting, but I cannot over exaggerate how helpful it is to make sure you can count a rhythm before you can play it. As my students know, if you can say it, you can play it. Yes, of course. An optional second step is to play the fill, but without the bass drum. So just play the hands first. And once you're comfortable with that, then add the bass drum back in afterwards. Now, before we move on, I just want to say a word of warning. Make sure you pay attention to the sticking. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left. I've seen some of my students play right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and all of a sudden they're in all sorts of trouble trying to get around the toms at the end there. So do pay attention to the sticking. It really matters. Bar 27. The D section starts off completely stripped back, just the bass drum playing what it loves to do, four on the floor. When you get to the second bar of D, bar 27, and you open the hi-hat on the end of beat three, you've got to make sure you close it and play it exactly the same time as the bass and the snare. You'll know you've got it when you hear a split second of silence before everything comes crashing in in bar 28. The last line of Bright Lights has more upbeat hi-hat grooves, but this time we have open hi-hat sounds on the end of beat four for those first three, 30, 31, 32. You wanna make sure you're closing it exactly when you play the bass drum on the one of the next bar. After this, we have another snare build. This time it's only one bar and also the bass drum is included.
Also, one more thing. That crash symbol at the very end, the very last bar, that lonely crash symbol all by itself without a bass drum. No, that's not a mistake. I just really like the way it sounds. Don't hate me for it. If you're not used to doing that, I understand. Just uh, try and leave it out. I think it creates a really cool, like uh, mysterious feeling that goes with the rest of the song. So try. This might be the hardest thing in the whole thing. Don't play a bass drum with that last crash symbol. All right, guys, that is it for today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed Bright Lights. Please let me know in the comments. Also, please don't forget to grab your downloads in the description below. Hit like, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.